Top 10 Horror Movies on Netflix The psychology behind our love of horror films is pretty simple. We love the adrenaline rush, and we feel comparatively safe knowing that a hatchet-wielding clown isn't lurking outside our window. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Top, where we tell you about the top-rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 horror movies to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 2022 American slasher film directed by David Blue Garcia, with a screenplay by Chris Thomas Devlin, from a story by Fed Alvarez and Rado Sayagas. This Netflix movie is the ninth installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, and serves as a direct sequel to the original film, which was released in 1974. The character of Sally Hardesty, the only survivor of Leatherface's killing spree in the 70s movie, returns while John Larroquette reprises his role as the story's narrator. Added some blood and guts and some Gen Zers, and that's pretty much the Netflix slasher in a nutshell. At a brisk 81 minutes in length, it's well worth a watch. Number 9. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark The shadow of the Bellows family has loomed large in the small house of Mills Valley for generations. It's in a mansion that young Sarah Bellows turns her tortured life and horrible secrets into a series of scary stories. These terrifying tales soon have a way of becoming all too real for a group of unsuspecting teens who stumble upon Sarah's spooky home. If you grew up in the 1980s and 90s, or perhaps any time since, it's likely you'll remember being scared out of your wits by Alvin Schwartz's scary stories to tell in the dark series. With seriously frightening atmospheric illustrations and stories like The Big Toe, The Thing, and The Haunted House, the first of the three anthologies was published in 1981. In 2019, from producer and co-writer Guillermo del Toro, Oscar-winning director of The Shape of Water, the series hit the screen. Number 8. Blood Red Sky Not one for fearful flyers, Blood Red Sky sees a plane hijack while a mother suffering from a strange illness and her son are on board. But the twist, or bite, comes when it turns out that there's vampires on the plane and it's the hijackers who should fear for their lives. Harry Baumeister stars as Nadja, the afflicted mother, while Carl Anton Cooch plays her son. Expect a surprisingly emotional film with some high-altitude scares, pulse-pounding thrills, and of course, lots of blood. Number 7. It Follows A cold-blooded nightmare that could inspire an adult to sleep with a nightlight. David Robert Mitchell's supernatural thriller about a shape-shifting killer, passed around like a curse, exudes a blistering, downright oppressive atmosphere of menace. Mitchell throws you off balance from the very beginning in ways that you might not even notice. This film is set in no discernible time period, or even a particular season, and certain details in the production design and in characters' actions just don't make any sense. This is not unlike the method Stanley Kubrick used to make us uneasy throughout The Shining. There is a quietness, a stillness in it follows, that you won't find anywhere in contemporary horror hits like Annabelle or It, which rely heavily on loud banging noises and jump scares to shake an audience. As artful as it is frightening, It Follows is patient, rewarding perceptive viewers with a uniquely richly disturbing experience. Number 6. The Strangers Pray at Night Mike and his wife Cindy take their son and daughter on a road trip that becomes their worst nightmare. The family members soon find themselves in a desperate fight for survival when they arrive at a secluded mobile home park that's mysteriously deserted, until three masked psychopaths show up to satisfy their thirst for blood. The creep factor was very high in Brian Bertino's horror head about a young couple stalked and preyed upon in their home, seemingly arbitrarily. Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman star, followed a decade later with less terrifying but entertaining and creepy sequel to Strangers Pray at Night about a family on a road trip from hell that turns into a fight for survival in a secluded mobile home park. Number 5. Raw Julia Ducarneau's cannibal drama is so graphic and intense it made grown men faint at the TIFF, requiring an ambulance. Horror can always be read as a metaphor, and this wickedly clever allegory uses bloody violence and shocking imagery to punctuate a story about a young veterinary student, Garance Marillier, becoming her own person, denying the patriarchy and giving into her innermost desires. You will likely either love or hate Raw. It's virtually impossible to have a mixed reaction to a film this confrontational. Ducarnor exhibits a mastery over her craft, running a mere 98 minutes. Raw is at once punchy and lean, robust and muscular. Though it may not be to everyone's taste, pun intended, Raw is the work of a visionary, one of 2017's most unshakable and singular cinematic efforts. Number 4. This House This House is an excellent horror that's best watched on Halloween, though can be enjoyed any time of the year. The story revolves around two immigrants who flee their war-torn country for a better life in England. 
However, they are given a new home that's invaded by a certain presence. Remy Weeks truly made something special with his house, arguably one of the scariest films on the Netflix roster. A haunted house story on the surface. His house centers on a refugee couple escaping war-torn Sudan, only to find that the English town they fled to may be just as harrowing as the land they left. The source of the film's horror lies not just with the supernatural elements, but also with the themes of grief, guilt, abandonment, xenophobia, and assimilation. It's a powerful haunt that will linger with you long after the credits roll. Number 3. Nightbooks Starring Kristen Ritter as a witch named Natasha, Nightbooks follows a young boy named Alex, Winslow Fegley, who has a talent for writing spooky stories. When his apartment block's elevator takes him to a mysterious floor, Natasha traps him and demands a new scary story each night. With his new friend Yasmin, Lydia Jewett, Alex must try to survive the ordeal and eventually escape from the witch's clutches. Based on J.A. White's novel of the same name, Nightbooks is scary, but in a kid-friendly way, more implications than showing gore. Number 2. The Babysitter Babysitters in horror tend to get the short stick. Whether they're being stalked, stabbed, or taunted over the phone, it's seldom what you dub a fun gig for them. McGee's The Babysitter twists this expectation, and perhaps its sole subversion that we shan't spoil here, to elevate this Netflix original from what could easily have been a so-so slasher. From the neon drenched palette of its marketing, it's clear that this isn't your typical blood-soaked trip to suburbia. Nope, this horror works at being hip. That's in part to the breezy cool exuded by Ready or Not, Samara Weaving. In the lead as the world's best babysitter, it's her turn that cements the pick as a playful riff on horror's past. Whether she's debating the merits of horror icons with Tween Swamp Cole or figuring out how to achieve the life she truly desires, while its overly stylized screen pops up might appear needy, they're not enough to detract from the popcorn frivolousness. Number 1. The Platform The notion that horror isn't political is a poor argument with each era in the genre's history ripe with titles seeking to dismantle particular rhetorics. The platform is one of Netflix's first world-language original horror, and wields its opinions boldly from the offset. The premise interrogates the concept of communism through a brutal futuristic prison system, which is where we first meet our protagonist, Gorang, who awakens one day on floor 48 of a virtual self-management center. Essentially, an installation where a mouth-watering feast is placed on a platform and lowered down through the tower stopping for a moment at each floor so the inmates may eat. Peter Thorworth co-wrote the screenplay with Stephen Holt for Blood Red Sky. Roland Miller, Perry Bumizer, Shidi Ajafo, and Alexander Shear all feature in the film. The point made rather explicitly involves the equal distribution of wealth, but when you've suffered as a result of others' greed, what do you do when gluttony presents itself? The movie chronicles Goreg's experiences as he switches every 30 days to a new floor, with the lowest levels demonstrating the savagery humans resort to when their fellow man won't even throw them a bone. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.